welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this super cute hair color. I have bleached my hair color and put highlights in it, low lights, and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to do this so you can look just as good. Okay, this is so freaking cute. I love how this color came out. Like, I am really proud of this color job, okay? <laughs> this wig was black. This video is sponsored by Cranberry Hair. They sent me this closure wig. So, this was a black wig, y'all, and it looks so bomb. So, if you have never put highlights in your hair or you don't know where to begin, I got you. I got you covered because I'm literally going to be showing you the easiest way to do this style, okay? Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, sis, because we have fun on this channel, okay? So, let's get into the video. Alrighty, my love. So, this is how the wig looks after I bleached my knots and pretty much co-washed it, let it air dry, you know? So this is the guts of the wig. This is a factory unit, so it's gonna look pretty standard. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start with my Dark and Lovely in the color Honey Blonde. And I'm just gonna follow the instructions. Hopefully you guys can read, <laughs> so you can follow them too. I'm just mixing this together, and then you're gonna give that a really, really good mix, all right? So now, I'm just going to be applying this hair color all over the wig. You guys, this is really easy. This part is super duper easy. Um, it's pretty standard. Apply, comb through, make sure you get it all in all throughout the wig. Distribute it real, real good, okay? Um, smaller sections. This wig density wasn't high, so it was a really, I'm not gonna say a thin wig. It was literally like the perfect amount of hair on this wig for the summertime. Not too thick and not too thin, just right, okay? So you wanna make sure you're using small sections to make sure you cover every single thing. Please note that even though this box dye says honey blonde sus, your hair will not be blonde after you are finished coloring it, okay? It's gonna give you like a brown shade. I'm actually going to use another two box dyes after I rinse this color out. So you guys will see that later in the video, but I'm just repeating the same steps, applying the color, combing it through, just making sure I get it all over the hair, okay? That's pretty much it, so this is the easy part. So I am pretty much done. I am just going in and using up the rest of this hair color just to make sure I got everything covered, okay? So I'm going to place this wig in a plastic bag and let it sit for an hour and a half, okay? So once that hour and a half is up, I rinsed it out, washed it real good with some neutralizing shampoo and let it air dry, all right? I did not condition it because we're not done yet. So now I'm going to go back in with two more box dyes. This time, this is the Light Golden Blonde by Dark and Lovely as well. You wanna mix that together, but this pack comes with a lift booster, which is pretty much bleach. So you're gonna go ahead and add that to the mix and then shake that up really good, y'all. And I'll start applying it directly to the wig. We are literally, literally repeating the exact same thing that we did previously with the other box dye, all right? This is so easy, y'all. So easy, beginner friendly, you good, okay? It does not take rocket science, all right? I will warn you guys though, it took me three days to do this entire process, like from beginning to end. So even though this is a 20 minute video, sis, this is not gonna take you 20 minutes, okay? <laughs> You've been warned. Also, you guys, all the hair links to this wig will be in the description box. Again, this video is sponsored by Cranberry Hair. They sent me this hair. So, yeah, y'all, make sure you go check them out and show them some love. I'm extremely proud of how this hair turns out. I'm not even going to hold you.
right now I'm pretty much finished I'm just going back in again to make sure I use up the rest of this hair dye I'm going to let this sit on the wig for 45 minutes you guys can already see that it's changing already because this has bleach in it well you know they call it the lift booster I don't want to let this process for as long as I let the first hair dye sit, okay? So once I washed it out with some neutralizing shampoo, this is how it turns out. This is the perfect brown, okay? This is exactly how I wanted it. I have not conditioned the hair. This is just strictly wash and air dry, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and get our bleach ready so we can start highlighting. I'm going to be using two of my favorite products, of course. This is the Ion um, Cream Bleach, and I'm going to go in also with the Ion 30 Volume Developer. All right, I did not mix this. I mean, I'm sorry, I did not measure this, y'all. Just I eyed it, I eyeballed it. Okay, you can eyeball it too, or you can measure it. It's up to you, sis. All right, so I'm going to start by sectioning my hair off into three sections. Of course, you are going to need some aluminum foil. You, I highly suggest cutting out your sheets before you get started just so you can move faster this will make your life a lot easier all right so this is how my bleach consistency is looking yours should look something like this or runnier it's up to you all right you guys now we are going to start highlighting what we're doing right now is called weaving so all you're going to do is take your rat tail comb and weave the hair from the top of your section to the bottom of your section. This can be as big or as small as you want, okay? Now, you have highlights and you have lowlights. The top piece of this section is the highlights and the bottom piece is the lowlights, all right? For the bottom half of this wig, I will be doing highlights. When we get to the top, I'm going to do low lights all right so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and tease your hair this is going to prevent any lines of demarcation okay that is not what you want sis you want a very clean and smooth transition from the top to the bottom of your highlight now we're going to take a sheet of aluminum for you and put it directly underneath your highlight section and all you're going to do now is apply the bleach directly onto the hair make sure you guys are applying enough bleach because you want to make sure that you get every single strand okay and all you're doing is just painting it on this pretty much it take it up to where your hair is teased at so again make sure you do not have any lines of demarcation and make sure you guys are putting enough product to get it throughout the entire section of hair once you've added enough product we're just going to go ahead and close this for you up by crinkling the sides with your comb and you just pretty much close it on up and if you guys are wondering I didn't think I showed the end on this clip but I do not put any bleach on the very very ends of the hair I pretty much just leave that open because I want again this is a highlight okay so just a really smooth transition so I'm going to be pulling out another section of hair I'm going to go ahead and weave this section as well and repeat the exact same steps again you guys these are my highlights in the back once I get to the top I'm going to be doing low lights, but you want to make sure that you absolutely tease your hair to avoid any lines of demarcation. We're going to go back in with our sheet of aluminum and apply that product. This is the same exact step over and over and over again. This entire process took me an hour to do, so make sure you guys take your time. This is not a quick thing to do. It takes time and patience. Also, you guys, when I do highlights and or lowlights, I try to keep track of how many sections I'm going to actually do, not sections, how many like weaves I'm going to do, like how many highlights I want actually. So I did a total of 12. So I have three sections. So I pretty much did four highlights and low lights in each section so again in the back of the wig i'm doing four highlights and in the front of the wig you're going to see me do four on each side of the front of the wig i hope that makes sense you guys so all in all i have a total of 12 foils <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. 
All right, my loves. So we are finally in the front of the unit. Now I'm going to start doing low lights, okay? So this is the exact same process. I'm just weaving out the hair. I'm going to pull it apart and comb it through. But instead of working with that top section of the hair, I'm going to be working with the bottom. So I'm just going to do the same thing, tease it out, and apply the product onto this section. Again, these are low lights. The reason I chose to do low lights in the front was to make sure it was a really seamless blend and that everything just came out super bomb. So same exact process, y'all, but instead of the top piece of this section, we're working with the bottom now. So once I'm actually done with this side of the front, I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the exact same steps on the other side, okay? So once I'm actually finished with everything, this is how it came out. This is how my foils are looking. Now I'm going to go ahead and start taking them out, okay? So before you guys ask, this hair was processing for a total of an hour in the back okay so I used 30 volume developer for the back for use and when I got to the front I had to use 40 because the back was already processing and I couldn't possibly leave it on for too long without over processing the hair so this is how the wig is looking y'all real crazy but I'm about to go ahead and wash her out with some neutralizing shampoo so we can actually go ahead and start applying the hair color to it okay so for hair color i'm going to be using my 7w and my 8g i use the entire bottle of hg and this is a one to two ratio so i'm going to pretty much be putting double amounts of developer with this hair color y'all and yes it looks green <laughs> but it's not going to be green y'all this is a light golden blonde color this is going to go towards the back of the wig and towards the very front, okay? So I will be applying this color while my hair is wet just to make life easier on myself. And again, we're going to put this in the back and then this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to be applying this hair color with my applicator brush, combing it through to make sure it gets all over the hair and repeating this step throughout the entire wig, all right? Okay, so I mixed the 7W off camera, but that is the caramel color. So I will be putting this color towards the middle of the wig just to kind of give it some dimension and give it some variety inside the wigs with the highlight and the low light. So I didn't want one color highlights. I wanted the, H, the 8G, which is gonna give me that light golden blonde. And then the 7W is going to give me that really pretty caramel. So I pretty much use only half of the bottle of 7w because again this is only going in the middle of the wig i place the 8g at the very top All right, so for my last little sections at the top, I will be going back in with the 8G. Again, this is the light golden blonde color. So I'm just repeating the exact same steps you guys have seen me do. I got a little lazy and just kind of poured it all over. I was really <laughs> over coloring this wig at this point. So I got lazy, y'all. <laughs>
right y'all we are finally finished so once i got done applying all the color i let it sit on this wig for an hour and now i'm going to go ahead and wash it out i didn't use any shampoo y'all i just conditioned it with the actual conditioner that came with the box guy which i will say is one of my favorite conditioners in life by the way so i let this baby air dry and now i am going to go ahead and straighten her out for you guys on camera as always i am using my beyond the zone heat protecting y'all should know that's my absolute favorite ever and i will be using this to protect the hair from any heat damage okay i promise i get out the way y'all in this clip i was just all in the way like sis move over but anyway do y'all see this color like it looks so freaking bomb like what also you guys the flat iron that i'm using is a titanium plate flat iron by baby bliss really one of the best flat irons out there i am not going to lie it's a little on the expensive side but it's definitely worth it like look at this look at this silk look at this color look at this hair like yes cranberry y'all came through for the kid i'm not gonna hold you but i'm just pretty much flat ironing it out getting her real straight real straight you know what i'm saying and she really really flat ironed really good like look at this color like look how this color came out y'all like it's taking me one pass. I have not had to flat iron this hair over and over. This bleach did not damage it. It looks amazing. Like, are you seeing this? Now I'm just gonna go in with my Care Care Wax Stick to get rid of any flyaways and just go ahead and brush that into the hair look at this y'all looks so freaking good y'all now i'm just going to go ahead and hit that top with my curling iron because just because it's a whistle just because it's a wig doesn't mean that everybody needs to know okay so you just want to do this until you're completely satisfied with how flat the top is and after i'm finished with that i'm just going to go ahead and pluck a little of the part just to give it a really natural realistic look so this is how the final look came out, y'all. Do y'all see this wig, okay? Look at it. Look at me and look at it. Look at me and look at it. Like, I am loving these colors. And a good part about this wig is it's perfect for literally every season. Summer, spring, fall, winter. I'm gonna be rocking this wig every single season, okay? I'm so freaking happy about how this wig came out how the colors came out this wig took this color so well i was very surprised but i absolutely love it if you guys are interested in purchasing a recreation of this unit i will have the link to my website in the description box down below you will not get this wig so it won't be this wig this wig is mine okay it will be a wig custom made just for you the hair for your wig will be from me to ensure quality purposes so yeah we can all slay together honey okay if you guys have any other recommendations or suggestions on hair colors you would like for me to do a tutorial on leave them down in the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next upload Mwah!